talking about the Murdoch trial now, Judge Clifton Newman changed his decision and now will allow evidence from the roadside shooting in September 2021 when Alec Murdoch allegedly conspired with a man to shoot him so his surviving son Buster could collect life insurance money. So for more on that decision, we bring in our trial analysts, of course, Kim and Grant Varner. Thanks for joining us thanks once again us. this afternoon. We'll start with Kim today. So, okay, we saw this kind of reversal in a way the judge had come out earlier and said i'm not going to allow this but hey if the defense is starting to ask questions about it we are going to allow this um how do you think this changes things well when attorney griffin was asking some questions mm -hmm. with the slide agent he was bringing out another theory and what he was asking about was alex paying Cousin Eddie, fifty thousand dollars a week for drugs, and that Cousin Eddie was getting the drugs from uh, a gang called the Cowboys. He was okay. behind in the money, and he brought out Alex's drug addiction. It kind of surprised me when he was doing that. Um, at that point in time, the prosecution said they opened the door. The mm -hmm. judge had initially denied it. He opened the door. That's going to really change things. Mm. They're not going to finish tomorrow. I don't see any way. There is a strong possibility that Cousin Eddie will testify. I think he's going to take the Fifth Amendment, but we're going to get into numerous other areas. So this case is going to continue. Right. Now, Curtis Eddie Smith, that's who we're referring to as Cousin Eddie correct, here. Correct. The man conspired with Alec Murdoch um, with that shooting on the side of the road. And that was going to be my question. Who does this benefit if he were to testify? Who knows? I, I don't think anybody knows what, you know, Curtis Eddie Smith is going to say. Uh, I think we all remember when he was booked, you know, he walked yeah. by the cameras and did one of these. Uh, you know, I think somebody from a New York magazine came down and they rode by and Cousin Eddie was out front and he just had a chat with him in the front right. yard. There's no telling what this guy will say. I, I agree. I think Cousin Eddie would be smart to take a Fifth Amendment on every question because He's facing, you know, he's facing a lot of charges himself, but this guy may get up there and just start talking and not stop. We don't right. know yet. I think the first five to ten questions from the prosecution to Cousinetti will really tell us what is going to come out of that. You know, is he going to talk? Is he going to ramble on? Mm -hmm. Or is he going to clam up and it was a waste? Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Hmm. Now, the timeline also mentioned that. How does this move things along? <laughs> when it comes to how long we're going to be in this trial. In reverse. Oh boy. It's going to take longer. Yeah. Uh, they had announced, the prosecution announced, they were going to wrap it up tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. With that door now open, they're going to have at least two or three witnesses bringing stuff right. up on that. You're not going to get through two or three witnesses in a case like this in 30 minutes or an hour. It's not going to happen. So we're thinking weeks, maybe? Uh, we, it's hard to say. It's, it's terribly hard to say. It depends on what these people are putting in. you got to remember, we haven't heard anything from OnStar about the GPS yet. Right. And I mean, there was discussion about it today. Obviously, the agents from SLED have seen it. The attorneys have all seen it. And there was discussion, you know, if, if you look at a shot of the Moselle property, the distance from the kennel to the house mm -hmm. and the path in and the path out and the way they normally go in and out. The GPS, from what I heard today, appears to confirm Alex at least never drove the Suburban by the kennels. Uh, but it did bring up an interesting point. When he went to Almeda, he went to the back of the property. Okay. Now, the defense is trying to spin that, hey, you know, he went to the back of the property to knock on the caretaker's door. The prosecution, obviously, today was trying to make it sound like he went back there to hide mm. rifle and a shotgun and, you know, probably some bloody clothes that were never found. If we get into that and we get into Cousin Eddie and a couple more witnesses for the prosecution, because there's a lot of ground left to cover, you could easily go another four or five days with just prosecution witnesses before the defense launches. Yeah, so uh, time will tell. Again, it's, it's really hard to say. Um, I know we, we were running out of time, but another thing we'll have to touch on maybe come tomorrow regarding that SLED investigator testifying today about that interview, that follow-up interview with Alec Murdoch. And some of that questioning uh, was really interesting, so we'll have to hold off on that, but something to think about uh, come tomorrow, of course. Uh, Grant, Kim Varner, again, thank you for joining us today, and as always, for that insight. Arthur. Thanks, everybody.